Welcome to the Outdoor Archives. I'm just here today, uh, taking my bike out through the woods here. Just looking for a place to stealth camp. Pretty close to a major road and there's a park up that way, but might be able to camp here. Um, so what I've done today is I've brought along this Oakley Sling Pack. I want to talk a little bit about it, just give you a quick overview. I don't have a lot of experience with it just yet. I just got it, so we'll find a place to get comfortable and then I'll uh, open it up for you. Oh, this is a good a spot as any, isn't it? Got a nice seat here. On my way through the uh, forest, there's a bunch of forest all around here. There's a couple of parks and some houses over there, but good area to do some stealth camping. So, here it is. It's the Oakley Extractor Sling Pack. Pretty nice looking, made out of uh, Cordura. Had a lot of packs in our Cordura, and I'm pretty happy with the material. Um, it's got a nice morale patch here, nice Velcro area, pretty big actually for morale patches. And it's got some molly down here if you want to lash some stuff. Molly on both the sides. And uh, another nice touch here. So the strap's got a swivel so this thing won't get all bound up on you. Of course on this side, it has a clip, it comes off pretty easily. There's the back, nicely molded, a lot of airflow here, it seems to work pretty well. Uh, decent strap, again it's got some molly on there, a D-ring, some more molly and lots of room for attachments. Uh, pockets on the side. These I'm not totally impressed with. Um, trying to fit a water bottle in here. I can get a plastic water bottle, one of the small 500 milliliter ones, but it just barely fits and it stretches out so much so that if you uh, if you actually tilted this, it would probably come on out. So you need something to uh, kind of lash it on properly or some other method. So just one little thing I would hope they would uh, uh, dimensions are 14 long by 8 by 8 inches. Okay, it's a nice handle here, stitched nicely, looks pretty uh, pretty effective. And I've got this loaded up with about 8 pounds of gear. Um, you could probably go a little more, maybe 10 pounds would probably be the limit. Um, but it holds 12 liters, so there's quite a bit of room in here. And I'll open it up for you. Okay. So it's got some nice zippers here with some nice zipper pulls. I don't think these are YKK, there's no name on them, but they do seem to work pretty good and seem to be you know, not too cheap, so that's good. So when you open this up, it kind of clamshells right, right open. You see here, it's a nice felt area here. You could put a phone in there, maybe some glasses. And here there's a couple more zip compartments. I've just got a knife in here for now, but uh, pretty nicely laid out. On the sides here, more zip compartments on both sides. And for now, what I've got, just these couple of camelback things. I actually dragged in my camera gear today, uh, and that's why uh, these are here. I, I should fit the cameras in here. And in here is a little cook kit with some food. And here's some water, which does fit here, but it doesn't fit that well. And kind of wiggles its way out so um, <clears throat> so also one other compartment here if you open this up inside here perfect for a little tablet or something you can fit most uh, probably an eight inch tablet in there um, and it's got velcro here so you can put your own uh, setup here um, this comes off just got some molly here and there's also a little pouch that came with it. I don't have it today, but there's a pouch that came with it. And uh, it goes on here and it can just hold some, some items as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, it comes in a few different colors. This is a black. There's also a multicam and I think there's a, a brown color as well. And uh, seems pretty nice. Now I can see this being useful for, you know, people going a for a bike ride, perfect. It's enough to keep uh, snacks, uh, some you know clothes, and uh, maybe a few little tools, a small pump, whatever. Perfect for that, uh, guys. For a day hike, perfect size. Um, just you know, these are Camelback 
bottle holders here so you get an idea of how much gear this can hold. You know, it's enough for a day hike. Um, you know, 12 liters is not, uh, is not huge, but for a sling pack, not bad at all. Yeah, so uh, also, uh, you know, going to the gym, you could probably fit a pair of sneakers in here and maybe a pair of shorts and a t-shirt or something like that. So, uh, pretty nicely laid out. Um, now this can be worn on either shoulder. The straps, you see there's a D-ring here and a D-ring here. This can be moved. Clicks pretty good. And uh, there's also a secondary strap that goes here. I didn't bring it today. Now I do have one complaint about these straps and it's probably just related to me, but it's this is as wide as it goes and this just fits me. Um, and to be honest, this strap here does fit, but it's really tight. So I really wish they'd put a little bit more material on here. If you're a, if you're of a bigger build, you might want to be aware of that. I, I'm probably going to end up cutting this and then you know extending this two or three inches. And the same with this here, just to make it a lot more comfortable. But overall, I've never had a sling pack before, and uh, you know what? I'm pretty happy with this one. And um, it, it's actually really comfortable with at least with the eight pounds. Uh, the shoulder strap is comfortable. The airflow here is pretty comfortable. And I kind of like the way it sits on my back. It, uh, again, with light weights, it, it's, it's, it's good and it works out. So, again, that's a quick overview of the pack. I don't have a lot of experience with it yet, but over the coming weeks and months, I'll be using it, testing it, and uh, I'll give you a more detailed review when, uh, when that does come. I'm going to wrap up this video with a few action shots as I leave you with my summary of this sling pack. The Oakley Extractor is a small, lightweight sling pack suitable for bike rides, day hikes, gym goers, and even as an EDC bag. It would even work as a camera bag. It can hold a fair amount of gear, up to 12 liters, and looks are a definite plus. You can slide the bag around to your front and access your gear at any time without removing the pack. It carries light loads well. I would say 7 to 8 pounds is comfortable, and even up to 10 pounds would be possible with this sling pack. The extractor falls short in a couple of categories, however. The straps are a little short for some people, causing the bag to ride up a little closer to your neck than I would like. The pockets on the side have limited use as any larger items like a water bottle will tend to fall out. Thanks again for watching. If you like these videos, please take some time to like and comment so I know you like the work that we're doing. I have more backpack and sling pack reviews coming, so click on that subscribe button. We hope to see you in the next video.